Thank you now uh, to a live broadcast from WSVN Television in Kendall, outside the Miami area. Let's listen in. Here, if we can find out for the residents of this area, Kendall, Country Walk, and let them know where they need to go. They obviously are hearing that word that they just any way they can get out, they've got to get over to the nearest fire station or go see friends. Carlos, did they say Country Walk uh, was gone, basically? Basically, we've got to get over there, take a look. We'll get you that video just as soon as we can. It does not sound pretty. No, that's a highly populated area. It's very dense. Everything's very close together. That could be a tremendous blow. And we people there may not have evacuated. They may have tried no. to stick it out because that's further inland. Right. Well, that's close to the That would be a surprise. Kelly, I mean, my family, we live very close to where we thought the storm was going to be coming ashore. What was in the evacuation zone earlier when we were doing those stories yesterday, and I moved my family out to stay with my mother out in West Dade because I thought they'd be safer. So far, I think everything's okay, but we don't know. It seems like it's taken the brunt of the storm is out here where we thought we'd be safest and away from the water. Just shows how unpredictable these storms could be because that was the exact thought. We said go west, go west, go west. In fact, several of us were invited to stay in West Aid in the Kendall area thinking that that would be the one place to go. And wouldn't you know it, that seems to be away from the water, close to the Everglades. It would be safe, and, and yet... They, they just haven't stood up to the wind. This mm. is a fierce, very, very fierce storm. We've seen Hugo, we've seen Gilbert and other places. The damage we're seeing here as we move further out, the reports that you just heard that we're getting, it sounds like we have suffered some terrible, terrible damage here in South Florida from this storm. You know, uh, Carlos, we've been talking about the storm surge. Do you see any evidence of that, or is this mostly wind damage that you see? What? cause the damage that you see do you think the maximum damage that we see is obviously caused by the wind it is the roofs it is the cars that are pelted by the missiles it is the trees that are felled those whole chunks of metro rail that you saw that were torn off and thrown down luckily no one was hurt there as far as water damage what we're seeing it appears to be the rising water of that heavy heavy rainfall that we all saw during the night that we could hear pelting our roofs but it doesn't appear, at least in the areas we've been, we have not been out to the coastal regions yet to see any of that storm surge. We just don't know yet.